What's good, y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to play New Orleans Ladies by LaRue. It's a half a step down and it's going to be in finger style, but I'm going to give you a strumming pattern too. Um, the chord you're going to need for this is a C, A minor, D minor, an F, and for this song, the little one sounds better, and a G. It's actually a three finger G though, I believe, but it's up to you too, really. Um, so let me show you the intro. Man, this, my daddy played music for a living, and he, there were certain songs that he would sing, and this is one of them. So he, he, I remember him singing this to me when I was a baby. But it's a great song. They always play it at my uncle's club and stuff. So here we go. <clears throat> All right, so that was your intro right there. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start on a C chord and go five, three, one, two. And then after that, you're gonna go to a B over G chord. Keep your first finger on that second string first fret and put your middle finger on the fifth string second fret and do the same thing, five, three, one, two. All right, then you're gonna go to A minor after that, same thing. Then you're gonna go to a Hold up. Hold on one second, I forgot. All right, after the A minor, you're gonna go to a three finger G chord with your first finger on the first fret of the second string, six, three, one, two. All right, then you're gonna go to an F. The little one sounds better. Four, three, one, two, and then back to G. All right, so hold on, let me just make sure. All right, yeah. So your intro all together, now that I showed you the pattern, is C. B, A, G, F, G, C, G. All right, and when you get to this G at the end, right before the verse starts, you're just gonna hit it twice. Like either two down strums, like that, or just the six string third fret. All right, um, and if you wanna strum this song or use a pick, let me show you real quick. Um, for the intro, just go. Alright, so just kind of pick, like on the C chord, 5, 4, down, uh, B over G, 5, 4, down, same thing, A minor, G, 6, 4, down, F, 4, 3 down. You know what I'm saying? So you can strum it like that if you want. All right, so one more time all together. Your intro is C, B, A minor, G, F, G, C, G. All right, and then the verse is gonna start right here at this point. All the verses are the same. I'm gonna refresh my memory on it real quick though. <clears throat>
right, so you're in, I mean, your verse, all of them are the same. You're going to do this progression I'm fixing to show you twice before your chorus. All right, so what it is is C, B over G, A minor, D minor, 4, 3, 1, 2, my bad, F. Alright, then back to C, B, A minor, F, G. Um, for the verses, you don't have to put your first finger on that first fret, second string. Just hold a three finger G chord. Alright? So, um, so you're just going to repeat that two times for your chorus, all right? So what it is, one more time, after the intro, you're going to repeat this two times. C, B, A minor, D minor, F, C, B, A minor, F, Alright, and right here, you're just going to do that one more time before your chorus. I'll just go ahead and do it. is going to start right here at this point on a C chord. Let me refresh my memory on it. Right here, chorus. So your chorus starts on a C chord to a G, alright, then C, B, A minor, F, G, alright, so let me make sure something real quick Hold up. yeah all right and then at the end of the chorus right before your next verse you're just going to stay on that c chord an extra measure all right so your um chorus all the way through for you is this let me do it with it some time Hold up. Here we go, first chorus, C, G, C, B, A minor, F, G, C, G. All right, my bad. So you're going to go to a G before the verse start. You'll see what I'm talking about when you're playing with it. But um, let me see if I can come up with a strumming pattern for this chorus real quick. Hold up. All 
right, so if you just want to strum it, just hit the bass note twice. You know what I'm saying? Or just go down, 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 up. Alright, so if you want to use a pick, you can do that. Um, and I believe that's it. Let me make sure. Another chorus. I think there's an outro. I think, I thought there was an outro. Yeah, there is. All right. So, um, you know how to play the whole song now. There's just going to be an outro, and it's just like the intro. All right. I was just kind of picking it a little different than I did in the intro, though. Hold on one second. Alright, so for the outro, if you you can pick it like you did the first in the intro, but if you want to do it a little different on the C chord, go five, three, two, five. Same thing on the B over G. Alright, A minor. G. On the G. Um six three two six little f four three two four and then g all right so you can pick it like that for your outro so let me do it with it and then i'll be it all right here we go here's your outro Right, dang it, hold up. <laughs> right towards the end, right before the song goes off, you just kind of slow it down, kind of start slowing down, and it'll end on a C chord and just strum it slow, like. All right, so one more time, your outro. Actually, I started slowing down too quick, so let me do this over. Like 
that. But you'll see what I'm talking about when you're playing with it. That is and was New Orleans Ladies. I hope y'all liked it. Hit that like button for me if you did. Till next time, gone.